Hello and welcome to yet another SharePoint tutorial video of Doc365. My name is Alex Joseph and today we are going to show you how to create and manage metadata in SharePoint Online. This is the home page of Doc365 SharePoint Intranet portal. In order to get started with the metadata creating process, you need to go to the document library for which you want to create a new metadata. So let's go to the document library for which we want to create a new metadata. For that, you can choose site contents and pick the document library you prefer. We are going to pick the first document library listed here. <clears throat> yeah. So right now there are only two D two columns here. Mod one is uh, modified and who modified it and also the name of the document. So in order to create a new column of metadata here, you can either click on add columns and choose more. And it will take you to the create column page. Uh, there is also another way to reach here, uh, the same page. That is enter the document library first and then click on the settings icon at the top and choose library settings. From the settings page, you can come down and click on create column. Yeah, so both of these options will take you to the same page. So here you can give the desired name for your new column. Mm, let's keep it as tag for now and then click or choose the manage metadata option from the radio buttons below. Uh, you can edit these options if preferred. Uh, we are selecting allow multiple values option. And then you can choose any of the term set from here. We are choosing departments for now. You can also set a default value if needed. After making all the changes, you can click OK. And then when you return to the document library, you will see that a new field is added here, a new column is added here. To enter value to this new column, you can click on this ellipsis, go to more and choose properties. Choose edit all and here is the tag option or tag column. You can click on this icon and choose all preferred options. Click OK and save all your changes. So all that information will be tagged to the selected document. So uh, in case if you want to delete any of the columns you just added, you can always go to the settings icon and choose library settings and from the columns area you can choose the preferred column you want to delete or edit and if you want to edit you can always change a name or any of the options here or if you want to delete the column entirely you can always click on delete and choose ok so the so that particular column will be uh, removed from the uh, document library. So that's all for today. If you have any queries, please feel free to comment below.
Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.